What up? It's your boy Tony G. He's back with another video. And this video is gonna feature our boy Marky Mark yet again. One of our biggest haters out there. Not our biggest hater, our only hater out there. Marky Mark is a bit of a shithead, okay? And he said that any Zerg player can win with cheese. Marky Mark, let's just see. How good your Zerg cheese is. Da -da -da -da. All right. So, here is our boy Marky Mark, the bit of a shithead admin Marky Mark, up here playing Zerg. And he is going to show us today how to cheese. Because any Zerg player can win if they cheese. Any Zerg player in the world, it takes no skill to cheese. So here's Marky Mark showing us how to play. In the Zerg middle position, he is five pooling, not even six pooling. Does he know anything? Does he even know the first thing about cheese? If you're chirping about cheese, five pool is not as good as six pool. All right, but let's continue to watch the expert, the master of Zerg cheese, extra beat, Marky Mark. Now, send. Overlord after to the top position and drone out Fifth drone doesn't need to collect. You only need four drones to collect immediately build an overlord of after and then just sit and wait after you scout because you know what? There's not much flow to the five pool build. It's kind of it's kind of a stupid build if you're gonna five pool You don't really have a chance to win, but all right, let's see the expert mark do it second overlord going down to the bottom position Spotting pool finished, firstlings popping out. The drone has scouted the cross spot and seen nothing. The overlord has gone to the top spot and seen nothing. He's going to go down to the bottom left corner. No, he's going to go down to the bottom middle and he's going to see nothing. Now he's going to go to the bottom left. His zerglings have now popped out. Three, four spots left. He has to just guess which spot is he going to go to. The drone is going to go to the bottom left and still see nothing. The overlord in the top middle is going to see n nothing. The zerglings are going to, they're just going to go for it. They're going to go to the top left position. This is what, this is what professionals do. They just go for it. They just go for it. They just send their zerglings to the top left. Let's see the zerg cheese experts. Micro, oh my goodness. He's going to go to the top left and there's nothing there. That means... Our Terran player has to be in the last position, the farthest position from this position where he spent he sent all of his zergling. He sent all of his zergling in the farthest possible spot. But let's see. This guy is good, okay? He's got 122 micro. He knows how to cheat. He's setting his first board. I get it, he's gonna let one get sniped. He's gonna get one. Is he playing against the sniper? Tony G just snipes that zergling like it's nothing. And oh my goodness. He's gonna try to throw down a hatchery. Does he think he's Mamba? Because, oh my goodness, that hatchery is at like 10 to 10 minute mark. The Zergling's gonna go in. They're gonna take out two Marines, three Marines, fighting four Marines down. The Zergling pushing in, dying. Five Zerglings down. As many more Marines now than there are Zerglings. What is this cheese expert going to do? What is Mark, the cheese master, going to do? He says LMAO last scout and he leaves without even G. G. Oh my goodness, Mark. <laughs> the cheese expert, please teach me how to play Zerg. Your cheese is so good. My last video, did I take down the best Protoss player in the world with my Zerg with the cheese? And you said anybody can do it, and then you five pool and you <laughs> kill three Marines. Marky Mark, the Chobo is Zerg player that I know just gets destroyed. Try to five pool your boy Tony G doesn't even have to pull an SCV. Pull, oh my goodness. Until next time, let's just keep our comments to ourselves if we can't back it up, okay, Marky Mark? Let's just, let's just sh until our best of nine is over. GG, GG, until next time, yo boy!